The UN was founded in 1945 with two purposes in mind. One, to prevent a new catastrophic world war. And the second, to create the economic conditions for world recovery. By and large, the architects of the UN system got that right. But today the world has changed fundamentally. The world is not the world of 1945. We have emerging powers, the rise of Asia, and a whole new set of global challenges that the UN was not designed to meet. We as a, as a society, and I would say more broadly humanity, face an iceberg of issues in the future. Issues concerning our habitat, like climate change. Issues concerning the quality of our life, such as the risks from pandemics. And there are new risks involved in the decision-making institutions. Decision-making institutions used to be embedded in states. But today we face a new range of issues, from the management of financial markets, through to trade, to intellectual property rights, genetic research, and climate. All of these issues no longer can be resolved by states in isolation. The study of global policy is the study of these new global risks. It's the study of the institutions that seek to address them. It's the study of the ways in which these institutions succeed and in the ways these institutions fail. And it raises the fundamental question, who and where and why and under what circumstances will these big issues be addressed by humankind now and in the future?